Hey everyone, welcome to another video. In the last video, we discussed how when we were making the call for update uh, handler, we were actually getting multiple requests that were coming on to our way. Uh, the, the code that we had was basically we were retrieving the tab ID. So for this, we'll go to the Chrome documentation again. And over here, we'll again go to our develop tab where all our actions are listed. And in this, we'll go to tabs. And inside the tabs, we'll try to filter out the update method. Okay, so there is the update method. In this, we have this on update. Let's search one second. On update. Yeah. Is this on update? No. No active change on created. On updated. Yeah. So on update, we have this parameter named as change info. We'll make use of this. So basically, whenever a website is reloaded, it goes into multiple lifecycle methods or like multiple state i'll show that in a while so basically there is a state in which it is updating and there is a state when it has completed the updating phase so the thing is that i think lead code uses some of our dynamic rendering uh, method let's say react so in that they have this placeholder dash lead code always there but whichever problem we are choosing the title actually it's a placeholder over there which is empty initially but once a website is loaded uh, the react or whichever framework they are using they actually inject that heading over to there like as a parameter they are having that so that's why we are ge getting like multiple calls for only dash lead code like five five calls and then the re-rendering that is happening is causing this to some lead code also come multiple times like seven times in this case so we'll make use of this change info and we'll actually stop this multiple uh, this multiple uh, entries that we were having so over here in my own updated method i'll just include a new parameter which is change info and let me console.log out this change info and if i go to extension i'll remove this extension i'll just refresh this extension and i'll try to reload it so over here in the status we are getting loading loading and over here only we are getting complete right so this is one phase to stop multiple calls so we'll use this change info and we'll do over here that uh, first of all i want error handling uh, let's add that in another video but over here i'll do if change info dot and what's over here uh, change info it is status it's dot status if it is equals to complete let me check the case it's small case so if it is complete then only we perform this operation all right uh, let me again refresh the extension reloading it again and we only got two calls now still we are having one lead code over here which is coming due to re-rendering of the page so basically it is a dynamic rendering so it is replacing the placeholder which is empty initially with some name which is to some for our case so to handle that we will do our operation in get current tab and actually i want to move this logic out of here also get, get current tab i want to have a bigger method over here which is handle handle extension operations and in which i'll pass tab id okay and over here in the handle operation i want first of all i'll create a function handle extension operations and i'll take tab id over here and in this i will check lead code page it is lead code so uh, before that i'll have to get also so over here i'll do page info equals to uh, wait or uh, wait let's do the refactoring in the next video in this video we'll just do over here instead of this let's just let's just check if change get current tab over here we were getting lead code specific logic so we check this and over here also you can check that if it is not is tab lead code lead code edge case and in this also we'll give page title we need page title over here and i'll create this method over here which is function is tab lead code and i will say page title over here and then i'll do that if page title equal equals dash lead what was the dash lead code written false uh, sorry it will be true if 
So one thing that we'll have to take care is that we always use the positive case and if like we don't use not in the name so we use the not symbol so basically always make the positive case when you are trying to make any test case or like whenever any boolean is returned from a method always try to have a positive uh, name for that method like is lead code edge case and if you just want to check the opposite one you can always put a not over here that's a naming convention that we generally follow so i always ch i'm ch checking the pos positive test case which is like if it is the edge case but i only want to proceed further if it is not the edge case so i have used a not symbol over here that does the work but just good uh, naming convention so this will be here and then we'll do the lead spe lead code specific uh, operation so we'll put the operation logic here but in this case if i get current tab and i console.log page title so we'll only get the page title when I'll remove all the other console logs. I'll remove this one. I'll remove this one as well. I just have this one. So this, uh, okay, I'll remove this one also. This page title will only be there now when it, it, it should be only one case. So let's see this. I'll go over here. I'll update the extension. I'll go over here. I'll reload. And when I reload, there are only two, co two names. One was when I activated it, which I think I skipped a console log somewhere. This I removed. I don't know why it is coming. Let me reload it. Yeah, this first one is coming from the background script, which is 20 line. Where's 20 line? Okay. Oh, yeah. We call the get current tab from here also. And the second one should be when we reload it. So multiple calls that were coming while updating. Those calls are still there. But now in this case, we are not actually going. In, those calls are not going into the main method. So we fix this case. And then there will be multiple edge cases that come along the way. But we'll fix them as we go. So that's it for this one.